welcome back to my channel guys. I am Cassie from Anchored by Books and today I am doing my Black Friday book outlet haul that I did <laughs> that is way, way, way too huge. Let me just show you the box. Ugh. I opened it already. I received it last week and I haven't had time to film a video. So now I'm filming the video and this is 20 pounds of books. 20 pounds of books! I ordered 23 books from Book Outlet and I'm just gonna jump right into it. I probably won't give full synopsis synopsi about what each book is about, but if I know what it's about, I will let you know. The first one I have in here is The Wrenchies from Barl Daryl. Wow, Darylimple? Darylimple? This is a graphic novel. I have no idea what it's about but I've seen it in stores. I haven't really heard anyone talk about it, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to add to my graphic novel collection. I found that I actually like graphic novels, so I'm gonna give this one a go. Then I have Revenge Ice Cream and Other Things Best Served Cold by Katie Finn, who is also Morgan Matson. Once again, I have no idea what this one is about. I'm sure it's a cute little fluffy contemporary. I have never read a Morgan Matson before. Um, let alone a Katie Finn. So, I don't know, I thought this cover was kind of cute. It'd be a fun little contemporary for summer. Then we have Love, Fortunes, and Other Disasters by Kimberly Carl Carlius. I don't know how to say that. Once again, I have no clue what this is about. I cannot remember, but the cover is super cute. And this, I swear to you, was only like a dollar or something. I thought, why not? Let's give that one a try. God, I'm gonna see that for every day. I just wanna give that a try. Let's give that a try. Then I have Seven Tears Into the Sea by Terry Farley. About a girl who, when she was 10, she saw this boy come out of the ocean. And I guess, she, I don't know. Anyway, she ended up moving away or something. And then when she's 17, she moves back to this place and I'm assuming she's just going to find out more about the boy that she saw. I've never heard of this book before. I really like the cover. It's pretty small, so I'm sure I'll be able to whip this out pretty quickly. I also have This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. From what I know, this is about a girl who discovers like an underground DJ scene. That's all I know. Music has been a huge part in my life, so I'm really kind of hoping that I connect with this, kind of like I did with Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. I kind of, I don't know if I'd like this cover, but I actually do. It's a cool kind of like, vel not velvet, is velvet the right word? I don't know, it's like a very soft, soft, soft cover. And we have High Society by Allie Carter. I actually heard of this from Maddie and B. I will leave their channel down below. This is about a woman who steals things or she she needs to steal things or something like that. Some kind, she's like a thief or a spy or something. And I know Maddie and B rave about this book and I love their channel so much. I will give anything that they like a try. Then I got Doll Bones by Holly Black. Once again, I have no clue what this book is about. I think it's a middle grade. The cover is really, really interesting. I've never read a Holly Black book before and this print is pretty gigantic. And once again, it's pretty stinking short. So I, I think I've mentioned this in another video. I want to start getting into middle grade more. So I think this is um, a, a good book to kind of get me started. I have A Last Hook by Lisa Jensen. This is another one of those books I've never heard about. I love Peter Pan. One of my favorite movies of all time is Hook with Robin Williams. I think it'd be kind of cool to see a book based around Hook himself. I think that'd be kind of interesting. I don't know if it's like a love story or just kind of more back information on Hook. I'm not sure, but I say this to every book, but I'm looking forward to this one. I also got Miss Poe or Mrs. Poe by Lynn Cullen. For those of you that don't know, I am a huge, huge Edgar Allan Poe fan. This is a book about a woman who reads Poe's work and she loves his work and she ends up actually having an affair with him. So that's kind of interesting. I just thought I'd give it a try just because I love Poe so much. Kind of a cool fictional twist on Poe. We also have The Book of Ivy by Amy Engel. Engel? Angel? Angel? I've heard so-so things about this duology. This is the first in the duology. I'm sure she's some kind of, I don't know, she's some kind of assassin or something. After a br brutal nuclear war. Oh, a nuclear, this will be kind of interesting, a nuclear war in the United States. I wanted to give this one a try. The spy is super cool. It has just like a picture of a knife and it says the Book of Ivy on it. That's just so clean and so fresh. We also have We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. This is the third and final book in the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy. I have the first two, I haven't read them yet, but now I have the third one, so hopefully I can kind of marathon them, maybe come spring or summer. Then I have Her and Me and You by Lauren Starsnick. 
so wait, hold on, Strasnik. This is about a girl who ends up meeting these twins. I don't know if she falls for both of them or kind of how that works. But once again, very short. I thought it'd be kind of interesting. I've never read a book about twins before. That's not true. I just read Fangirl. But we'll get into that another time. The cover's kind of cool. Kind of daunting. I don't know if this is going to be dark or if this is going to be happy or what. I don't I don't know. I'm going into this one completely blind. I really don't know what I'm going to get out of it. We have Shudder by Courtney Almeida. I have heard really, really good things about this. This is a horror novel, scary book, whatever, about this person that catches ghosts on camera. That's pretty much all that I know about it. It's going to be really interesting. I haven't read very many horror novels and um, man, I don't know, but this cover is really freaky. And there's a video game I know that reminds me of this. I can't think of what the video game's called, but you like kill the ghosts with the camera. I don't know if this is the same kind of concept, but I thought it'd be kind of cool. We have Flirt Sparks in Scotland by A Destiny and Rhonda Helms. I'm sure that's just another cute, fluffy contemporary. The only reason why I got this is because I'm assuming it's in Scotland, and I love Scotland. I love everything about Scotland. My favorite band is from Scotland. So I like to read a book based in Scotland. But for some reason, my camera just kind of stopped recording. I don't really know why. We're gonna jump right back into it. So then I have Panic by Lauren Oliver. I don't really know much about this either. I think it's about a girl who lives in the middle of nowhere, and that's all I know. 